There's a famous pub place called Liverpool that's noted for music and fun. And Wankok, along with Demonic, went there with Doris, their buffoon. A tottish lad was young Doris, all dressed in a shambles, quite a mess. With syringe on an horse's head and all the finest that gates could supply. They didn't think much to the ocean, the waves, they was fiddling and small. There were no masks and no Covid body drowned in. Fact nothing to laugh at at all. So seeking for further amusement, they went off to Liverpool, where they would scousers and paddies and geordies earn brew and sandwiches too. There was one great big scouser called Bifter. His nose were all covered with scars. He lay in a somnolent posture with the side of his face on the bars. Now Doris had heard about scousers, how they were ferocious and wild to see Bifter lying so peaceful. Well, it didn't seem right to the brat. So straightway, the cowardly twat, not showing a morsel of care, took syringe with its horse's head handle and stabbed it in Bifter's ear. You could see the scouser didn't like it. For giving a kind of a roll, he pulled Doris into lockdown with him and swallowed the bastard whole. Then Demonic, who'd seen the occurrence and didn't know what to do next, said, Wankok, young scouse is it, Doris? Wankok said, well, I am vexed. Then Demonic and bullshit of Wankok, quite rightly, when all said and spun, complained to the Liverpool mayor that the scouser ate Doris for fun. The mayor was quite nice about it. He said, what a nasty mishap. Are you sure it was Doris he'd eaten? Demonic said, am I sure? There's his crap. The manager had to be sent for. He came and he said, what's to do? Demonic said, young scousers at Doris and him dressed as well as me too. Then Wankok said, Right's right, Baron R. I think it's a shame and a sin for a scouser to go and eat Doris, and after you paid him to be PM, Baron R. wanted no trouble. He took out his purse right away, saying, How much to settle the matter? Demonic said, What would he usually pay? But Wankok had turned a bit awkward when he thought where PM had gone. He said, No, someone's got to be summoned, so that was decided upon. Then off they went to the police station in front of the magistrate chap. He told him what had happened to Doris and proved it by showing his crap. The magistrate gave his opinion that they were all to blame and arrested them all for treating sovereign people with such disdain. At that, Wankok got pretty blazing and thank you, Millwood, kindly, said he. What, waste all our lives treating people fairly to make bloody scousers and everyone free? Not we.